Hello, I'm David Burris with Clear and Forged, and believe it or not, we're doing Damascus Part 2 tonight. Obviously the billet that was in part one was made into a knife a long time ago so this is not the same billet but it's made the same way although I've got a little different makeup in this one. Uh, this is five layers of alternating 1095 high carbon steel and 15N20 which is uh, has a high nickel content which should give us a, a bright pattern running through. Uh, what we're going to be doing tonight is uh, we're just concerned with welding our billet and getting the layers that we want. Uh, <clears throat> we're starting out with five pieces of steel. So I like to do the initial weld by hand just because I can get a feel for if it's welded and I can test it to see if it, it actually stuck. And uh, you know, it just I, I always like to do the first one by hand, but the subsequent welds we'll be doing on the power hammer. Uh, we'll uh, I do it a little differently than than some people do on the YouTube. Uh, I kind of do it the old school way, which I pretty much do everything the old school way. So I'll uh, draw it out to twice its length, and we'll cut it part way through, and just fold it back on itself. That way, you're not having to you know cut it with a saw and arc weld it every time and it, it just goes a little more naturally to me doing it this way so uh, we're, we're gonna we're shooting for a hundred and sixty layer Damascus so that sounds like a lot and it really impresses the punters when you're talking at a festival or something but it's really six welds so we're gonna do we're going to draw this out, cut it, and fold it six times because as you're building your layers up, it grows exponentially. We got, we're starting out with five, and our first fold will give us 10, and then 20, 40, 80, and then 160. So, uh, still a lot of work, but it sounds more impressive when you just tell people how many layers are in it. So, we're going to heat this up and flux it, and uh, make the weld and uh, we're still still adding to our uh, video equipment here so I'm not going to be talking a lot while it's going on we're just we're going to uh, film what's going on at the anvil and the power hammer and then we'll talk about it when we're done so uh, hope you enjoy it and we'll see you at the end You notice we got a good even color all the way through and when I hammered it on the side it didn't pop apart so I think we got a got a, our initial weld made so I'm gonna heat it back up and uh, go over to the power hammer and draw it out twice its length and we'll cut it and fold it and that's that's how that process will go till we get all the the folds we want in it <clears throat> 